desperate to acquire them. I'd love to get a meeting with Marcelo. I'm not going to Rome. It's not the first time you make business with pleasure. You're actually quite good at it. For once, do something spontaneous and reckless and un-Emily. I think there's more of a responsibility at work for mm -hmm. her now. She's been there for uh, three seasons prior, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, months, if you mm -hmm. will. So I think there's a greater responsibility. There's a more there's more of a trust within mm -hmm. her coworkers as well for her yes. and Sylvie specifically. Mm -hmm. So Sylvie. Sylvie starts to understand that Emily knows what she's doing, and so she gives her more responsibility. It's been a roller coaster for Camille because uh, once we know her on season one, she's a com confident, spontaneous, very joyful character, and I think we got some more depth to this character more and more. She's becoming darker, she's trying to find a new future because everything she was hoping for is dead. So right now, she's just trying to reinvent her future. I think he's maturing a bit, you know. He's always been a bit naive and uh, he lacks a bit of instinct to understand the dynamics around him. And I feel like he's a, the, the announce of a baby uh, does that he's, he's taking matter into, into his own hands and, you know, trying to get that Michelin star, trying to get the woman he loves. And um, he, he, yeah, he feels a bit more mature, even the way he dresses, like there's something a bit more uh, manly, so to speak, even though I don't like that word. But I think in my opinion that uh, season one, two, three were built up to season four. Mm -hmm. Like Julian was a young, sassy, fashionable, uh, aspiring uh, marketing executive. Mm -hmm. And in season four, he's a full on, uh, Autonomous uh, worker, and, uh, uh, and it's pretty cool to see that evolution. Mm -hmm. Luke <laughs> don't have an evolution; he's <laughs> always the same. You know, it's the other that they have to evolve uh, yes. next to him. <laughs> so, but we find every season yes. so many things of his personal life. Yes. So a lot of discovering uh, where he lives, uh, his personal life, yes. uh, his passions, yes. very strange passions sometimes. Yes. So it's uh, not an evolution, but uh, 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 discovery. 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 Exactly. We get to discover. I love getting to see. Um, I, I hadn't seen Luke so distraught. We see him distraught and stressed a lot, but when he was crying over. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's a whole new side. I also think all um, all of our relationships have grown, like in terms of our um, friendships with Emily, yeah. you've really seen those grow from season one to season mm -hmm. four, and you defend her even in the second yeah, part of yeah. this. But I think my character is kind of similar to, to you. Um, yeah. We, I think through discovering different parts of her life, we see different vulnerabilities mm -hmm. and different emotions come up. And I think the biggest growth that we've seen is maybe her not knowing how to reconcile her past with yeah. her present, present. Um, and her discovering what she actually wants for her future, mm -hmm. which is so questionable. Having a baby with a woman who's in love with another woman and I'm the only one that knows about it? Well, no relationship is perfect. Great, Tyler. Cheers. Where are you guys going? Lunch. I will talk. choose her. She's having my baby. I know, but I cannot be the person who pulls you away from your family. Oh my god. Where do I start? Um... <laughs> leave, leave the show. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mil not having a baby mm -hmm. is like everything, her whole life crushes at the instant. Yes. So that's the biggest challenge yeah. she's been through, I think. Mm. And how does that affect your relationship? Your character's relationship? In, in life? Us? Yes. Well, no, you're, you're we're doing great. <laughs> no, us in real life, we're doing great. On the show, not so much. Um, no, I, 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 It's kind of sad, to be honest. It is sad. Because she's my, she's my, you know, she's my, she's, she's my person in oh, life. Oh, and, oh. Uh, and on the show, we, we, we cannot have a moment where we have like a little fun. Yeah. No, it's not, uh, I'm so happy with that, but you know, it's the 
the creativity of Darren and the authors. And uh, th I have to say that they, they observe us mm -hmm. around the set and they pick sometimes the, the, the things mm -hmm. uh, of our own personality. Mm -hmm. For example, I speak about Antonioni, uh, the movie yeah. of uh, old movie fashion. You know, I love that. Maybe they heard me talking <laughs> well, about that. Oh, that's totally, yeah. Yeah. that's so funny. Yeah. And also how we get to, I, I think they see how we interact too. I don't think I had a scene with either of you until season two. Yeah. You know, yeah. and how mm -hmm. we, and I think they get more creative in how to interweave the different worlds of Emily okay. together. I uh, kind of agree with what <laughs> he said. Uh, okay. I, I feel like uh, I feel like like we, we we've always been trusting uh, mm -hmm. the process, and okay. uh, I remember trying to pitch things in my head and mm -hmm. trying to you know uh, get ahead of myself. But every time we come to a new season, you, you realize that mm -hmm. you know the writers have already cooked something amazing yeah, for us. Yeah. So. I have to say I love that because it's uh, for your uh, imagination, it's better that you, you, if you bring yourself, yes. it's not the character. I love to discover. Yeah, I don't think any of us would have ever anticipated mm -hmm. what happens to our characters. Yes. It's kind of like if we wish for something, then uh -huh. it limits them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That breakup is all over the internet. You broadcast your entire life for public consumption, and now it's affecting my business. Who could imagine things would balloon the way they did? Fix this. I've been living in the gray area all my life. I didn't picture you embracing it. I'm trying. Well, I prefer to see all the colors that we see now, all the mm -hmm. different layers that she has. Mm -hmm. That really, I'm really happy that Darren wrote that for me. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> no, because it's it's much more interesting as, as mm -hmm. layered as you are. Art, okay. you know, it's just yeah, I prefer the layers. Yeah, you know what I love about this idea of embracing the gray area mm -hmm. is. Emily has weirdly been already in this gray area mm -hmm. between yes and no, right and wrong. Yeah. One guy, one guy, yeah, yeah. one job, one job, mm -hmm. black and white. But she's never been comfortable in knowing that the gray area is also a choice. Yes. Um, you don't have to always have the right answer. You can mm -hmm. just be in the in-between and try to figure it out. So I think by Emily embracing this gray mm -hmm. area, she's almost choosing it as a choice okay. and then seeing what happens. And yes. so I think the rest of the season, we get to see Emily being a bit more comfortable not mm -hmm. knowing what's mm -hmm. happening. Um, and then that takes her to Rome mm -hmm. and she embraces a bit more of her vacation mode. Okay. And, and that's, you know, she's stuck in between multiple things, but mm -hmm. she's okay with it. here for a few days. There's a lot to see. Andiamo. Andiamo. I really needed this. What did you need? A break from work, Paris, everything. Take a chance. Where's Emily? She went to Rome. Emily's in Rome? I knew it. Pack your bags! Which city do you prefer? Paris or Rome? Yeah, I think to me Rome is the other sort of certainly for Americans, romantic, aspirational mm -hmm. city that you just sort of dream about. Mm -hmm. And and if, and also I just wanted to create a different kind of culture clash between the French and the Italians, not just <laughs> the Americans and the French. And mm -hmm. I think I think there's an there's an interesting um, rivalry between yeah. French and Italians. Yeah. And how they're and how they're different and mm -hmm. they're both passionate about their respective countries. Maybe I'm Someone who's ready for new experiences. Emily, who are you right now? I've been living in the gray area all my life. I didn't picture you embracing it. I'm trying. They both mean so much to me for different reasons. Don't overthink it. Promised myself I'd be open to any possibility. What did you need? A break from work, Paris, everything. Take a chance. Where's Emily? She went to Rome. Emily's in Rome? Do you prefer? Breathe. <laughs> breathe through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything will be fine, okay. but remember to breathe. 
I would like to say to Luke, sometimes you have to put on filters in your mind <laughs> yeah. and not saying all the things that you have in your, in your mind. But that you would know? be fun to watch for us. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about you? Well, I would say to Julia that uh, you should keep doing what he does, fighting mm -hmm. for himself, fighting for your lights mm -hmm. and for your position anywhere is always good, I guess. And, uh, and, he's, uh, and he's, he's loyal at the same time, so. Okay. I would it. tell uh, Mindy to maybe try to find her own apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know how they put all their clothes in there. And also, she had quite a potty mouth this um, this season. Like, she said a lot of very inappropriate things. So maybe <laughs> no, like, Luke, no, like Luke. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know your audience sometimes, but I also enjoy her saying stuff like that, so. Maybe Sylvie needs to choose something because she's just as lost as Emily, love-wise. But maybe, maybe not. She won't be able to. <laughs> Go live your life. <laughs> <laughs> Don't interact with Americans. <laughs> oh boy. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, just uh, listen to your instincts. Be mm. more instinctive. I feel like mm. own up to your mistake. 